near universal coverage, maybe a little less so after if that provision doesn't get vetoed. But there was one study that found that Medicare coverage, right, the health care coverage for the elderly in this country, that when people got Medicare coverage, which is a near universal program for the elderly, it was associated with reductions in racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic health disparities. And this was a study that was funded by the Commonwealth Fund. And in their press release, they said, they talked about universal coverage as a possible means of reducing these types of health disparities in the general population. So that's sort of where we are today. You know, we're trying to figure out, does universal coverage actually reduce health insurance? So the good news is that we know that the uninsurance rate for all Massachusetts residents is 2008. But this is a sort of a redo of some of the slides that Commissioner Auerbach showed. And you see the blue is 2007 and the red is 2008. So first of all, the good news is that every single race ethnicity has improved. I mean, that's really sort of remarkable. Yes, sir? This is actually only about a slide. I didn't catch your eye. Okay. Maybe this is a different study, but I saw a study that came out probably six or so months ago that looked at disparities within the Medicare population at patients who were in the same health care delivery system, and there were still disparities. Right. So that maybe access brings them into the system, but then the dynamics of unequal treatment appears to continue to operate. So I didn't put up the data for the study by Dr. McWilliams. He's not saying the disparities go away. Right. He's saying that they reduce. Exactly. But they continue to exist. We have not been able to identify it as an area of concern. Right. And I think that's, you know, one of the points that I think a lot of the research is saying is that insurance alone does not eliminate disparities. That it's multifactorial. 